Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going through all the games that I play slash bought in the month of October of 2022. I didn't play a lot of games last month because I broke my glasses and I couldn't see for like a good chunk of it. I was still playing Splatoon 3, but it was not a good experience. Let me tell you right now, I can't even see myself in the viewfinder. I see myself like as a blob. So I'll be going through my Nintendo Switch games, my PS5 games, mainly digital. I do have like one physical, surprisingly. And I will also be going through my Steam and what I played on the app stores, etc, etc. If you're new to my channel, I go through these categories like almost every single month. And I'm surprised I actually opened my PS5 this month. Exciting news! I bought the Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival. I bought the drum set. This was $250. <laughs> It was a bit expensive. I love rhythm games and music games in general, so this was like a must buy for me. Well, not really. You could wait. Do I recommend the Hori Drum? No. It is so noisy. Like, whenever I start filming, like, everything is out. It's like 5 a.m. I don't understand why everyone's awake along with me. But anyway, so the sticks looks like this. It has like really cute logos and of the taiko drums and stuff. Very plasticky, but you know, to be expected, but it's still well made. I don't particularly like the drum set. The aesthetics of it are very cute. It was fairly easy to set up, and I just don't like the latency. Like, maybe because I have a certain way of streaming, it has like a certain delay whenever I play it. I'm just so used to the controller, maybe I'll learn to love it, but I don't think it's worth like 250 for a music game. Music games, rhythm games, they always go on sale after a period of time. If you have the patience, please wait for it. It'll, it'll be a lot cheaper. Uh, 250 AUD for this was a kind of pricey. And all the songs that you see here, you can buy them in like packs and DLC. They also go on sale. They have like black pink. There's K-pop in this one. There's also Plastic Love at one point. I saw it but I didn't want to pay for it. There's Persona 5, Undertale. Like a lot of good songs in this pack and I really like the game itself but I don't really like the drums. Let's freaking move on. I've been talking about it for like a good 10 minutes. Okay, the next Switch game that I have played is Two Point Campus. There was a Halloween update and I played a little bit of it. It doesn't crash anymore. Thank goodness, but it took a freaking long time for Sega to patch this, so if you see this on sale, I guess now is the time to pick it up. They finally fixed all the issues. Like In the last two weeks that I was playing this game, it hasn't crashed, so I think now it's safe to pick this one up. I still wouldn't pay full price for Two Point Campus, and if you like Management Sims, this is a great game for you. I enjoy Management Sims, so this one was fun. And I'm glad they finally fixed all the freaking issues. Hopefully it stays like that. So the Taiko game looks like this. I forgot to show it, but there we go. Moving on. And I played Splatoon 3 the most this month. I stopped for like a week straight because my sleeping schedule is like back to being atrocious. So I haven't been able to play with my American friends. I love Splatoon, but I also have a bunch of communication errors lately ever since the newest update, the latest update. But other than that, it's really fun. Since I brought up Pokemon, I managed to snag Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet for $48 each, $48 Australian dollars. I don't know what was happening on Amazon that day, it just went on sale for that price and I just decided to like snag and pick it up. And even if my order gets cancelled, I still have, you know, a fighting chance that I might pick up at my local EB games. You know, I'm just taking a chance. I have pre-ordered my Pokemon Violet all the way from February last year. They don't take out any money until like they ship out your stuff with Amazon. So I'm not too fussed about it. If it ends up getting cancelled, I can still get it like at my local gaming retailer. I was checking up on the website for like 2-3 days and I was still there. So I hope you guys managed to catch a deal. I tried to link it to my American friends but apparently it was like Amazon Australia. I also play a little bit of Disney Dreamlight Valley. It is only a digital game. So Disney Dreamlight Valley is kind of like a cross between Animal Crossing and your typical farming sim. It has like quests and stuff like that. If you are into those sorts of cutesy games, it's fantastic. If you like cozy games as well. If you have the patience to wait for it, Please wait for it because it will be 3 next year. I don't know when exactly, but I used up all my gold coins to get the game, but I still think I overpaid for it. While it's really fun, it's really laggy at the same time. They did recently patch it up. They recently like have like this Halloween event. It reminds me of a very like premium, premium kind of game. 
that you can find like at your app stores these days or Google Play Store. So you don't really need to like swipe for this game, but I did because I have zero patience. Moving on, I also bought Battle Chef Brigade. It was on sale for less than 10 bucks. I wanted this game for like a long while and I'm glad I waited for it because it was cheap. I was talking about Bejeweled and Candy Crush to my friend Daniel Brackerman and he told me that he also got Chef Brigade because like Battle Chef Brigade because it reminded him of that game and yeah just like random topic when we were playing like Splatoon. It was fun. I got confused during the tutorial because I was trying to like maximize my point by matching certain tiles but it turns out it's a specific order. I've watched other people play the game but personally for myself I only like started the tutorial and in due time I will play it. It's currently in my backlog. I just opened it up because I was curious and it was like cheap that's why i bought it and let me tell you i spent an insane amount of time playing stardew valley on my nintendo switch because this comet lives in my brain rent free because i think two or three years ago i did a farm tour on my stardew valley farm for my pc version and somebody didn't believe that i managed to make all that money in that farming game i'm ashamed to admit this but i have close to 400 hours in stardew valley I also have like a excel spreadsheet in my brain and I have a word document um, about certain things, profit margins and all of that. So I'm trying to prove a point by making a new farm on my Nintendo Switch <laughs> and then I'm going to do a proper like farm tour on my Nintendo Switch version which side project. Anyway, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to prove a point by playing a new, brand new farm on my Nintendo Switch while i listen to audiobooks it's like a great combo let me tell you you can multitask with stardew valley at least i can because i've played the game so much and if i combine all the hours from my ps4 slash ps5 steam and my nintendo switch version i also have it on my phone you don't even want to know it's probably over a thousand hours at this point but anyway let's freaking move on again so that's all the games that i've played on my nintendo switch that i can remember on top of my head at this present time and i managed to buy more Splatoon 3 Amiibos. They came back in stock and I didn't pay for those scalper prices. I paid a retail price. I've wanted this set for a while now. I'm glad I waited. They're freaking cute and adorable and I really like the weapons. The detail is amazing. <laughs> Splatoon Amiibos. I think I got everything that I wanted. I know there's a new set coming out in December or is it already out? I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'm tempted to. I've seen like the previews of it but I am not gonna collect every single Amiibo out there because I I need to learn how to save some money but clearly there's a lot of Nintendo Switch games coming out in November. I already pre-ordered some of them and I am in fear for my bank account and my spending habits so I need to stop. I also know that they're gonna do a restock of the Animal Crossing albums, the Amiibo albums and I'm, I'm missing one. I think I'm missing the fourth one or the fifth one. I'm trying my best not to get into Amiibos because it's a dangerous slope. I have some over there as well but I got the ones that I really wanted and I need to stop because as you can probably tell I don't have room. Okay, let's move on to the PS5 section of this video. The only physical game that I bought for the PS5, which is pretty random, is... I really like Alpha, what can I say? It comes in a pack of like two mics, that's the one I bought. Yeah, it's a pretty old game that is remixed into like the PS5 version that I just happened to buy. Like I said, that's the only physical game that I bought and played. So I'm part of the second tier, I think it's called Essentials, I'm not too sure, of the PSM Plus tier. Okay, there's a lot of really, really good games in the PSN Plus catalog, like the bonus section. Apparently it's called like something different in different countries, so I'm in the second tier, so the middle one. I don't know if the catalog changes like every month. So Dragon Quest Builders 2 was part of the game catalog, and when I saw it, I internally screamed because i have a japanese copy which i borrowed off a friend i need to return and i'm just happy that i can have access to the digital copy for free even though i'm paying like a monthly membership but you know it's available i don't have to like go ahead and buy like another copy just to play it i do have it on my nintendo switch but the game crashes a lot on the nintendo switch and there's also like the first 
Dragon Quest Builders game in the catalog as well and I didn't download that one because that one was like so-so. I have it on the PS Vita but you know it's nice to have an option. And then there was also like other Dragon Quest games like the main storyline games. It's a fantastic deal if you're like a big fan of Dragon Quest or any like Square Enix games. There was like a whole bunch of them like a bunch of like older RPG games like JRPG games. Not that old, like a couple of years old, four to five years at this point. Like a lot of games that I wanted to buy when it first came out is now available. I will like put them somewhere here. I don't remember the names on top of my head, but I just mass download them onto my PS5. My PS5 currently doesn't have any room, but I still like download them, put them in my library just in case I want to play them like sometime in December when I actually have time kind of reserve a spot just in case they go away I'm hoping it doesn't because my membership doesn't expire until like sometime in June I'm hoping there's going to be a Black Friday sale where the PSM membership goes on like 20% off again because it used to be a lot more but every single year it decreases like by 5% so I'm assuming it's only 20% off I'm waiting for that sale so I can stack up my membership. And the only game that I bought from the PSN store was Mr. Masaji because I wanted trophies and it was cheap. And I also played a little bit of Genshin Impact because there was like this anniversary event that you can collect like free gems. That's all I did. Yeah, but I managed to have access to a bunch of pretty decent games that I was interested in but didn't have time or the money or the resources to buy it when it first came out a couple of years ago. And they all happened to be on the game catalogue, so I was really happy about it. I only played Dragon Quest Builders 2, so that's basically what I've been playing on my PS5 and that was fun, it was great. I think the only thing I played on my Steam this month was Cookie Clicker. I don't even want to talk about it, let's move on. On to my iPad slash mobile app games that I play for this month is the same old same old. I played a little bit of Bang Dream, there was like a Halloween event. And another music game that I played was the Hasunu Miku Colorful Stage Halloween event as well. And I also played a little bit of Twisted Wonderland Halloween event. Just a whole bunch of like Halloween event for all the mobile app games that I played. And I think the last thing I did was Genshin Impact on my mobile as well. Um, I'm pretty on and off about Genshin Impact. I only log in when they have like special codes. I don't really put much effort into like Genshin anymore. I just log in whenever there's like a free deal when I have to log in to like collect certain things and then I log straight back out. And I will be streaming it next month because there's also like a streaming event going on and that's the only reason why you will see me streaming on Twitch. And if you want to see me play Taiko Night Tatsujin, I will be streaming on Twitch as well but I can't guarantee a specific date because I'm pretty busy in the month of November leading up to the beginning of December but anyway that's all the games that I've played on my Nintendo Switch PS5 Steam and my mobile and my spending habits and my amigos. If you'd like to see more content from me, I do have a book channel and I also have an art channel which I post like once a year and I also have like a music game channel. Do I upload frequently on those channels? No. This is like the most consistent channel that you're looking at right now and I only post like once a month. But in the month of December for next month, I will be posting my collection video and I think I'm only going to do it for my Nintendo Switch. If you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see that is plausible, leave it down below and leave a comment down below if you have anything else you'd like to say to me any recommendations what games have you been playing and any new releases you're looking forward to i'm looking forward to pokemon and have a stellar and the possible final fantasy music game that's coming out next year there's a lot of things coming out from november to like next year of may if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me, and hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!